Hey guys, thanks for tuning on in. If you're new, hi, my name is Ansley. This is That's Really Pretty. We usually discuss a lot of beauty and makeup, but I will say I've been prepping you guys that I was gonna have some different videos coming. So today is the day where we start doing that. If you're not new, hey, what's up, what's good? Thanks for coming on back. I appreciate the support. So yes, I'm finally starting to put other types of content uh, on my YouTube channel. This has been a long time coming. I'm very excited. So hopefully you guys like give me a little bit of feedback below. I'm not gonna turn into one of those channels where I just talk about like everything, but um, outside of beauty and makeup, fitness and health and wellness is a pretty big part of my life. So I would say moving forward, the type of stuff that you can expect from me is still beauty, makeup. I will be doing some more fashion stuff when I move. So hopefully you'll see that soon. And then every now and then I might do like a fitness or health what I eat in a day. So context. This is going to be, I hope, a very short video, but I do have a couple of things I want to talk to you guys about. So a few things. Uh, in late January, I had weight loss surgery. So if you guys would like to know my experience with that, comment it down below. I say that to say that um, my lifestyle has changed a lot since then. So I um, have like a vitamin regimen, I have a supplement regimen, I follow keto now, so I'm extremely low carb. Um, I also work out five to seven days a week, focusing mostly on cardio, but I am gonna start uh, strength training soon. Um, and I also am training for two and a half 10Ks. <laughs> I say two and a half. Uh, one is in February at Disney World, and I'm not sure if I wanna do it. Uh, and the lottery hasn't opened yet. So I've got two on the books for now, and I might do one early next year. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about, I do have some products that uh, two different brands sent me and I wanted to think of an authentic way to really talk about them. So I will show you the products. I'm not necessarily saying you need to go pick up these, um, but then I was thinking, okay, how do I talk about this in a way that's not like, oh, I got free stuff and you should love it. Go buy it, you know, <laughs> affiliate code down below. And so I was like, okay. I train a lot. I'm learning how to run. Uh, in the past, when I was going to the gym, I was doing the elliptical, and I can get on that bad boy and do endurance training for like an hour, an hour and a half straight. I can run for three minutes before I'm trying to update the emergency contact information in my phone. I am a horrible runner. Uh, so that's why I do a 10K almost every year with my dad on July 4th in Atlanta, that's where I'm from. Um, but I actually wanted to learn how to run and I've always wanted to be a runner and I've always wanted to be able to successfully run at least half of a 10K. Um, so I decided I would sign up for a couple more and actually learn how to run and train for them. <laughs> so with that, I wanted to share a few tips that have worked for me um, in terms of if you're working out a lot or you're training for a 10K, here are a couple things that you can do. So one, let's start with hydration. Hydration is like the end all be all for just being like a healthy fit person. You need to make sure that you're very well hydrated. I know we talk about having 64 ounces or eight um, cups, <laughs> like what are the words, um, about eight cups of water a day. That is just like a, a guideline. You really should be drinking water based on what your weight is. So. I don't remember what the exact calculation is. Oh, I'm not like a fitness um, like expert or like a dietitian or anything. I'm just like a regular human being that's trying to learn how to run and lose weight. <laughs> so <laughs> take what I say with a grain of salt. You might find these tips helpful, you might not. Um, so you really should be drinking, I think it's around half of your body weight. Uh, that's what I drink. Um, so you really, it's not just about the eight cups a day. It's about making sure you're drinking enough to, for your specific body to be hydrated. Like I said, I drink anywhere from 80 to 100 ounces of liquids a day. Um, it's a mix of coffee, water, protein shakes, um, and then the supplement I'm going to talk to you about. I will say in speaking with my care team um, post-surgery, we have talked about like, do I need to have eight cups of water or like, is it just liquids? They say that it's just liquids, but you do want to mostly drink water um, as a part of that consumption. And it's anything that is liquid at room temperature. So like a smoothie wouldn't count, but a shake would count. All right, so in terms of supplements, um, like I said, I do a lot of cardio. I, in the past, was drinking these, um, they're like hydration multipliers. It's like a mix of like sugar, electrolytes, salt. Um, you might have seen them. I get all of my supplements out of GNC. I will have another video about some of the perks of being a member. Those hydration multipliers though are loaded with sugar. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed after my surgery is that very sweet stuff tastes sour to me. Uh, your appetite is decreased and your taste buds can change. So 
I was drinking them for a while right after surgery and then I stopped for about a week and then when I tried to drink it again it was disgusting um, so it wasn't really the best thing for me to be drinking it's also really high in carbs I hadn't been doing keto at that time but it was just I was drinking sugar was drinking sugar water so I was talking to the people that work in GNC about kind of what could I do in terms of hydration and they recommended BCAAs uh, so these are branched chain amino acids they don't necessarily make you feel like more hydrated physically, but it's to help hydrate your muscles, especially if you're doing HIIT, which is high intensity interval training, um, or if you are lifting weights. So I usually, when I go to the gym, um, I will do two scoops, two scoops of this, which is about seven grams per scoop of BCAAs. If you do um, consume like protein powders and, and shakes, they also do have a uh, a little bit in there um, but this is a great uh, supplement to add as well and this also has like a fat burning um, like complex in it so if this is one of those things that like a vitamin or a supplement you just take it to um, how do I say so you just you take it knowing that it's doing your body good but it's not like you put a moisturizer on and immediately your skin feels hydrated you're not necessarily going to see the effects of this right away so I take this every day and that is my first tip um, my next tip is that if you are learning to run like I said I'm a horrible runner I actually downloaded an app um, that I use to do my workouts it's called so like couch to 5k is a very popular program they also have couch to 10k and so I don't remember how many weeks it is it's either a 10 or 14 uh, week kind of process where you learn how to do interval training um, in order to run so I will show you guys the app but basically you do it you do it three times a week and like you walk for a minute you rest for two minutes you walk for a minute you rest for two minutes so on this particular version I have the pro version on the phone that I am currently filming with uh, this only does it I think for like uh, a week but it's a really great program it helps you stay motivated they'll say like little nice things every now and then and I have found success with it I will say it is hard for me because I can't really run for too long at a time um, even to do the intervals like it's it's it drains all my energy like I said I can get on the elliptical for like two hours and I'm fine I can do this for three minutes and I'm like dead tired so even if it's this app if it's another app think about something that is structured I will say I like having an app because I don't have to worry um, about like getting out a sheet of paper and like counting the different intervals and changing it up and down I mean you do have to physically change the like pace on the, the treadmill up and down but it's just nice that it's in an app and it kind of takes care of providing the structure for you so my last tip especially if you're running so I have lupus and I have a lot of joint pain and inflammation and so I will say running is very hard on my knees I would encourage you to look into like knee or joint support so I have a little band that I wear around my ankle every day and I also have a knee brace that fully supports my knee um, I will wear them to bed sometimes. I will wear them at work. I wear them when I work out. So like, it's okay if you're not the perfect runner that can just run and not have the ankles of an eight year old woman. Like take care of yourself if you need to put on a brace. I also recommend that. Another thing that I've started to explore, and this is where the products from the brands come in, is um, like hot and cold therapy. So oddly enough, in the same week, I had two brands reach out to me with two different types of products. This is just a general tip. I'm not saying to go pick out these products in particular, but um, I do have a few examples that I can show you. So this is a heated knee brace, which is kind of neat. You can also do cold therapy with this, but it's a little gel pack. Um, you slip this in here. If you're doing it cold, you have to put it in the freezer. If you're doing it hot, then you can just, um, there's a little device that you plug in and it's like a, like a portable charger. So you basically charge the device plug it into the USB and you depending on how hot it is you can heat your, your knee anywhere from like two and a half hours to like six or seven hours so and this is a size large and it fits my knee I do struggle sometimes with knee braces them being able to fit like not the knee but like the parts of my leg around it because I do have thicker thighs so this is one product that I could that I would recommend I really do like this um, between the two products like this might be my favorite 
not to say that this is a bad product or anything but it's it's the same thing but it's just for your foot and ankle so I do get uh, my ankles swell all the time um, so I am like very lucky that I got two products that are really helpful and I can come to you and say like whether you pick up these whether you pick up something else just consider putting it in as a part of your fitness regimen so this is the same thing pretty much um, as a knee brace but it's for your foot and ankle I will say when I am running, I struggle more with my knees, but um, this is also really good for foot and ankle support. So I would consider this using this in the future on the days where my joints are uh, swollen in my ankle. Um, I will say as I've lost weight, I don't have that problem as much anymore, but I had my six month post uh, checkup Monday <laughs> last week and Monday um, and my joints were swollen then and the doctor noticed so I won't be using this like every single day I'll probably end up using the knee brace a little bit more but um, both of these are two great products to consider all right guys that is it <laughs> hopefully you found these tips helpful if you have any tips that you would like um, to comment down below and share with other people please feel free to do so I will um, so on my Instagram I have two Instagrams one is like lifestyle so it's Philly, it's fashion, it's, it's beauty, and then I have a fitness Instagram. Um, I do post on my Instagram like different foods that I've eaten, non-scale victories, like weight loss updates. So if you're interested in any of that, uh, please feel free to check that out. I should have a link to it down below. Not, I'll put one there <laughs> or I'll put it as like the pinned comment. But thank you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and just like comment anything you want to chat about down below. And share this video with someone that is either getting into running or needs help um, putting structure around like learning how to run for a race or just take care of themselves or they're working out. Share this video if you think they might enjoy it. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you later. Bye.